안녕입니다 Welcome back to Let's Speak Korean. Have you had someone come up to you yet, impressed by your Korean, asking you where you learned it? Well, next time that happens to you, you can say you learned it on Arirang TV's Let's Speak Korean. Scott and Christine are here. 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요, Christine 입니다 안녕하세요, Scott 입니다 Do your students ever watch this program, Christine? Uh, actually, yes, a couple of students have come up to me and said, Hey, uh -huh. I've seen you on TV. Really? So, yeah. <laughs> mm, that's good. Mm -hmm. Does it feel good? Yeah, it does. And they really like the program, too. So that's always encouraging. Okay, yeah, good. good. That'd be fun. Do any of your friends watch this program, Scott? Um, they better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think some of them do. Are they <laughs> studying as hard as you are? Um, hopefully. <laughs> so, good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Usually we speak in English, so I'm not too sure. <laughs> oh, well, you should try speaking in Korean. Uh, yeah, well, I'll give them a quick quiz next time. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> If you have any suggestions for us to improve this program, then do give us a call because we're always looking for ways to make this program more fun and helpful. All right, let's get started with today's program. Scott and Christine have prepared a conversation for us, right? Okay. Christine, TV 를 볼까요? 네, TV 를 봅시다. Okay, how about news 를 볼까요? Oh, and Neo, news 를 보지. Mapshida. Okay, so mol bolkayo. Let's speak Korean. Ul bolshida. Bolshida. Good okay. idea. Thank you for being such a loyal fan. <laughs> All right, now let's move on. Take a look at what's coming up next, and when we come back, we'll talk about today's lesson. Hi, I'm Sue Richardson. Today I'm at this place called Sungyungwon, which was the national university of the Joseon dynasty. In this university, they taught the teachings of Confucianism, which is, of course, Confucianism. Well, would you like to come with me and see how the students 500 years ago studied? Come on! The place you see now is the Confucianist building called Taesongjun. This is the place that every year they had a ceremony for Confucianists. And the place that we are going now is the university building called Myeongmyeongdang. This is the place where the students of the Joseon dynasty study. Can you believe that these trees are over 500 years old? Imagine how many people have come and looked at them, stood under them, and touched them. That's amazing. I personally love these gecko trees so much better than those buildings that you study in. Before I dwell on that thought for too long, I think I'm going to go and enjoy the trees again. So, until next time, bye bye. Sue went to Songyungwan this time. Songyungwan has been a place of learning for over 500 years since the early Joseon dynasty, and students used to learn about Confucianism here. As you saw, there is now a university around that old building, and that university coincidentally is called Songyungwan University. Christine, what is the oldest university in Canada? Mm, I know that the first university was Laval University. Mm -hmm. It was named after a bishop. Mm -hmm. But as far as how old it is, I'm not too sure. I know that Canada is 130 years old. It's got to be so, younger than 130. Yeah, okay. maybe 100 years or something. Mm -hmm. Scott, you must know a little about Confucianism since you studied Asian yeah, history, right? Right, in mm -hmm. some. And from a Western, Westerner's point of view, what do you think about Confucius as a man? Okay, Confucius as be a man. Be careful, you're <laughs> Yeah. Right, yeah, okay, I guess the anti-feminism part won't work. Um, I don't know, yeah, he's had such a strong effect on the culture. You can still see it today, even in the subway, where it stand up for older people and mm -hmm. give them your seat. In one way, that's a part of Confucianism. So that's right. yeah, kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. And I know Confucianism is somewhat outdated now, but are there any teachings that should be passed down, you think? Well, sure, like the one we just talked mm -hmm. about, about uh, you know, respecting, older, respecting people. older people. That could you know, never hurt. Thank you for your insight. Mm -hmm. okay. Now let's move on. Christine, you remember where you heard the Let's Be Korean sound? Right, it was Kuram, Muasul, uh, Halgayo, and the answer, 
Bola Kapshida. Mm -hmm. Then Scott, what is today's lesson about? Okay, we talked about, or we heard Kurom, mm -hmm. and then something something Uro, uh, Hapshida or Kapshida. Kapshida. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's start with Kurom. Okay. Now, kurom is a sentence connector, which means then in English. And you hear it a lot in conversations because it makes the transition from one sentence to another a lot smoother. In fact, if I were to say something in Korean right now, I'd be using this word. I'd be saying, kurom 연습을 할까요? Then shall we practice. Okay, Christine, repeat. Mm -hmm. 그럼 무엇을 할까요? 그럼 무엇을 할까요? Scott, mm -hmm. 그럼 무엇을 할까요? 그럼 무엇을 할까요? Good. Now let's listen to some native speakers for more practice. 그럼 무엇을 할까요? 친구 친구를 만납시다. 그럼 무엇을 할까요? 과일 과일을 사러 갑시다. 그럼 무엇을 할까요? 소풍 소풍을 갑시다. Okay, now let's see when we use the expressions that we talked about so far. Christine, 일본어 공부를 할까요? 아니요. 일본어 공부를 하시 하지 아, 갑시다. 맙시다. 맙시다. Mm -hmm. the negative. 그럼 무엇을 할까요? 아, 한국 아 공부를 갑시다. 합시다. 합시다. Mm -hmm. 공부하다. To study, right? Right. Okay, then, Scott. Mm -hmm. 티셔츠를 살까요? 아, 아니요. 티셔츠를 사지 맙시다. Let's not buy a T-shirt? Yeah, let's not buy a T-shirt. 그럼 무엇을 살까요? 아, how about... 아, 손수건? Mm -hmm. 손수건을 사러 갑시다. Good. Now you know when we use the word 그럼, right? Right. 그럼 is a reduced form of 그러면. And if you're unclear as to how that is, Scott's going to demonstrate that for you, aren't you, Scott? <laughs> okay, yeah, it's 그러면. Mm -hmm. But 그러면, 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 그럼. Okay. Shorten together. Oh. Is that good enough? <laughs> okay, oh, hope okay. so. Okay, sort of got it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 그러면, okay. just fast. Okay. By the way, Christine, do you remember what Scott's response was when I asked him, 그럼 무엇을 살까요? Right. Um, 손수건을 mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 살러 갑시다. Mm -hmm. And what was our second key expression of the day? Um, it was 은행나무를 발러 보러, oh, 보러 갑시다. Mm -hmm. And what do those two sentences have in common? They have the ending, which is la gapshida. Right, and that's what we're going to talk about right now. Okay, Okay. great. Verb stem plus ra means in order to do something, and it is usually followed by verbs like kada, to go, and oda, to come. And if you say verb stem plus ra kada, that means to go in order to do something. Likewise, verb stem plus ra oda would be to come in order to do something. Now let's practice with some pictures. Here I have a picture of a mother going to the market to buy fruit, in order to buy fruit. Christine, do you want to give me the sentence in Korean? Okay, I'll try my best. Mm -hmm. um, 어머니가 mm -hmm. 시장에, 시장에, to the 시장에 mm -hmm. uh, 과일을 mm -hmm. 사라 mm -hmm. 갑니다. Mm -hmm. Mother is going to the market to buy fruit, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, then, the next picture. Let's say this boy's name is Cholsu, Scott. Mm -hmm. Cholsu is going to the playground to play basketball. Okay, so Cholsu ga mm -hmm. undongjang e mm -hmm. nongurul mm -hmm. haro uh, kamnida. Good. Whoa, long. Long sentence. <laughs> Good. Now let's take a look at focus in. Pay attention because we have some new expressions coming up. 백화점에 옷을 사러 갈까요? 네, 사러 갑시다. 지금 영화를 보러 갈까요? 네, 보러 갑시다. 오후에 테니스를 치러 갈까요? 네, 테니스를 치러 갑시다. 
We talked about verb stem plus ro kada or ro oda so far, but this form is used only when the verb stem ends in a vowel. Now, when the verb stem ends in a consonant, we have something different. We have u ro kada. All you need to do is insert u in front of ro. So, for example, we take the verb mokda to eat, and to say to go to eat, you would be saying moguro kada, or to come to eat, moguro oda. Then, Christine, how would you say let's go eat? Um, ma magula mm -hmm. kapshida. Moguro kapshida. Good. And then, Scott, let's try. Um, how about namuru shimta to plant a tree? How, how would you say, let's plant a tree? Okay, so let's be, go plant a tree, let's rather. Let's go plant a tree. Namurul shimuro kapshida. Mm -hmm. The verb stem is shim, right? Shimta, right, yeah, shim. shimta. So and it ends in a consonant, so shimuro kapshida. Okay. All right, it's now time for Korea Live. Lisa is coming up next. Hello, welcome back to Korea Live. I'm Lisa. Can you recall what we learned last time? Do you remember what handphone meant? That's right, a cellular phone. I wonder what we're going to study today. Let's take a look. Pool. 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 Uh, how about a pocket ball? What pocket ball? I have no idea. No idea. <laughs> okay. Pocket ball? Uh huh. Uh, snooker. Snooker. Okay. You've probably already guessed what we're studying today, right? Let's take a look at the word. Pocket ball, or pool to us, but in Korea they like to call it pocket ball. Until several years ago. The Koreans play the Japanese style of the pool game, but these days the younger generation likes to play the American style. But as you heard in the interview, the Koreans called it pocket ball. Why do they call it pocket ball? It's probably because you shoot the balls into the holes on the side of the pool table. You know, recently my Korean boyfriend asked me, shall we play pocket ball? And my face turned really red. But now I understand what he meant. You don't want to be caught in this kind of situation, so you want to learn how to say, Shall we play pocket ball? You could say it like this Pocket ball chilkayo? Pocket ball chilkayo? Or you could say, Pocket ball chileo? Pocket ball chileo? Easy, right? Today I want to play pool with a guy who turned my face red, so I think I'll give him a call and say, Pocket ball chileo? <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Thanks, Lisa. We learned two new things today, the word kurom, sentence connector, and sentence ending ro kata or ro oda. Now, Christine, you want to start a conversation with Scott? Sure. Scott, muasul halgayo. In sadong e kugyong haro kapsida. Okay, kurom, bari kapsida. Ali kapsida. Christine even knows how to say, let's hurry up, right? <laughs> you bet. Okay. What we learned today are very useful expressions, so try to remember them and maybe even practice them at home. We'll be back next time. 안녕히 계세요. 안녕히 계세요.